हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम नविद अहमद टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ट्रांसजेनिक फिशेस लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ ए इंट्रोडक्शन फिशेस आर कोल्ड ब्लडेड वर्टिब्रेट्स विच ब्रीद बाय मींस ऑफ फेरेंजियल गिल्स प्रोपेलिंग एंड बैलेंसिंग देमसेल्व बाय मींस ऑफ फिंस दे फॉर्म ए रिच सोर्स ऑफ फूड एंड आर कल्चर्ड बोथ इंटेंसिवली एंड एक्सटेंसिवली टू गिव द बेस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ द राइजिंग In addition, they yield a number of byproducts of high economic value. The byproducts like fish oil, fish liver oil, etc. Transgenesis. Transgenesis involves genomic alteration of an organism through insertion, modification, or deletion of a gene with the objective of modifying the characteristics of interest. Here, in the production of a transgenic animals or a fish. the genomic alteration is important step for the genomic alteration they involve the process like insertion of a gene or modification of a gene or deletion of a gene in this manner new staple and genetically determined characteristic can be incorporated into the genome of receptor organism and possibly transmitted to the next generation here the receptor organism means the organism which receive the gene and it can transfer the gene to the successive generation so a transgenic fish is one which carries one or more foreign gene the foreign gene a which is selectively incorporated by micro injection or electroporation methods into the egg with a view to produce the transgenic fish lines carrying such foreign gene here we not only use the micro injection method we also use electroporation methods More than dozens of transgenic fish were produced by 1980s. Some example includes transgenic Atlantic salmon, transgenic food fishes like trout, tilapia, eat fishes, etc. When come to the history, in 1985, first reported the transfer of human growth hormone (HGH) construct into goldfish, and subsequently the expression, transmission, and significant enhanced growth rate. in transgenic fish have been reported by maclin et al in 1987 in january 1996 for the first time in the history genetically engineered salmon named aqua advantage salmon was grown in commercially hatchery in a lone pine scotland the pioneering work of garden et al in 1981 and others in creating transgenic fish by gene transfer technology has been generated a new era in applications of different transgenic animals in basis and cancer research and animal husbandry transgenic technology the technology used for the production of transgenic animals are known as transgenic technology there are two important technology are used in the production of transgenic fishes the first one is micro injection and the second one is electroporation methods let's know one by one micro injection to date micro injection has been only the successful technique for transfer of gene in the fish the eggs and sperms are collected in a separate dry containers in the figure we observe that the males and female fishes eggs and sperms are collected separately after that the fertilization is initiated by adding water and sperm to the eggs with a gentle stirring to enhance the fertilization and then the fert- after the fertilization the fertilized eggs are then micro injected with the first few hours after fertilization the injection operates consist of dissecting stereo microscope and two micro manipulations in general about 10 to 100 molecules of linearized transgene is about 20 nl is injected into the egg cytoplasm following injection the embryo are incubated in water until hatching depending on the fish species the survival rate of the injected fish embryo range from 35 to 80% while the rate of dna integration range from 10 to 17% in the survivals advantages of micro injection method there are three important advantages of micro injection method the quality of dna delivered can be optimized 
DNA delivery is predictable even into the cell nucleus. Even the smallest cell can be targeted to deliver the DNA. Disadvantages of microinjection It requires skilled personnel. As a very sensitive method, so it requires skilled personnel to handle it. Only one cell receiver DNA per injection. For injecting a foreign particle or a foreign gene into the cell nuclei, so what only one cell receiver DNA per injection. So instruments are very costly. Here the use of highly technologized instrument, so they become heavier and most expensive in these days. Electroporation method. This method is used as an electric pulse to introduce DNA into cells. By exposure to brief electric shock, the cell becomes temporarily permeable to DNA. The entry of DNA molecule into cells is facilitated successful DNA transfer through this technique has been shown in bacteria, yeast, fungi, plant and mammalian cells including fishes. The electroporation has become a popular for transferring transient into fish embryo. Therefore, this method is considered as an efficient and versatile massive gene transferring technology. In the figure, we observe that the fish eggs and gene of interest is there. They are mixed in a kuwait and the voltage is applied. After the applying the voltage, the cell becomes temporarily permeable to the foreign gene. After that, the foreign gene which is incorporated into the cell genome and then cell become electroporated. By this, the electroporation method has been conducted for the production of transgenic fishes. Advantages of electroporation The first one is efficient transformation. The electroporation method forms the efficient transformation of foreign gene into the cell nuclei. A large number of transformed cells are obtained. Within a single experiment, a large number of transformed cells are obtained by using electroporation method. It may not require skilled personnel. As compared to the microinjection method, the electroporation method has become easier because of the applying of the voltage, so it does not require any skilled personnel. Disadvantages of electroporation It required protoplast for transformation. The difficulties associated with a protoplast regeneration. The risk of obtaining genetic variation in protoplast regeneration. These are the important disadvantages which are facing in the electroporation method. Examples of transgenic fishes. Here we observe some examples of transgenic fishes. They are salmon, trout, tilapia, carps, zebra fishes. Here we observe the difference between the transgenic fishes and non-transgenic fishes. Before the, trans uh, before the introduction of transgene, their size are very small. After the introduction of transgene, their size become huge. Advantages of transgenic technology There are six important advantages of transgenic technology. It improves the economics of fish culture. The transgenic technology helps in the production of large number of fishes. So, it helps in the economies of fish culture. Toiler for fish market. Fish as a bioreactor. For the production of many enzymes and proteins, fishes are used as a bioreactors. As an experimental model, in research of studying of cancers and pollutions, the zebra fishes and Japanese medaka are used. They form a best uh, experimental models in the cancer research. They have a short breeding cycle. Within a short time, they can breed and produce large number of progeny. Twice the size of their corresponding non-transgenic fishes. Within a short period of time, they become a huge size. When compared to the non-transgenic fishes, they will double in their size. Disadvantages of transgenic technology. Here you observe uh, four important disadvantages of transgenic technology. The first one is inserted gene has multiple function. It is one of the greatest uh, disadvantages of transgenic technology. Here, they, we uh, inserted a gene for their size. Along with the size, it formed the change in the color of the fish or change in the shape of the fish. 
this result in the uh, loss of function or uh, uh, it form a multiple functions so uh, we, uh, the obtained result have some errors the breeding problem the transgenic fishes are produced from using transgenic technology they does not breed properly sometimes lead to the mutagenesis and functional disorders the transgenic fishes have more mutations and uh, some disorders low survival rate of transgenic fishes when compared to the non transgenic fishes the transgenic fishes have low survival rate 